Feliz. Aviles. De La Rosa. Aye. Gutierrez. Aye. Hanif. Hanks. Sorry. Aye. Congratulations. Thank you, Council Member. Krishnan. Aye. Congratulations. Thanks. Lee. Aye. Menon. Aye. Narcisse. I want to say congratulations, but this one is a common sense one. Thank you. Congratulations. Aye. Wrestler. Aye. Congrats. Sanchez. Aye. Shulman. Stevens. Aye, and congratulations on continuing to push forward and highlighting the need for workforce development in our city for our young people. And congratulations on your resolution. Ung. Aye. Thank you. With a vote of 13 in the affirmative, zero in the negative, and no abstentions, the resolution has been adopted by the committee. Congratulations, Council Member. We will now turn to public testimony. We'll be limiting public testimony today to three minutes um, for in-person panelists. Please come up to the table once your name has been called. Our first panel will be um, Danielle Beam, Dr. Danielle Beam. Please make your way to the front. You may begin your testimony. Thank you. Good morning, my name is Dr. Danielle Beam and I'm the Executive Director of the Food Education Fund. FEF was founded 15 years ago in conjunction with the Charter for Food and Finance High School, a CTE culinary high school in Hell's Kitchen. FEF, along with Food and Finance High School, serves 98% of students identifying as ethnically diverse and 85 qualifying as Title I, many of whom also travel more than an hour and a half each way to attend this school. FEF provides experiential learning and industry access to students throughout their high school career. Now we support over a dozen schools in a variety of ways across New York City. We offer a year-long suite of programming leading up to our workforce development training and career placement. Our high school seniors are enrolled in a six-week course of intensive workforce development prior to FEF assessing and pairing these students with industry partners made up of 60 restaurants and hospitality groups across New York City. These students are paid interns. Four out of five interns are then offered an opportunity to extend their role at the conclusion of their internship. We firmly believe that students should be prepared to make informed post-secondary decisions that are the right fit for them. The emphasis Food and Finance has placed on the access to the holistic development of their students through experiential learning, specifically in outsourcing access through FEF to enhance the current curriculum in place, has been crucial to the overall success of the student population. 98% of Food and Finance high school students graduate within four years with nearly 200 hours of paid meaningful internship experience and up to 500 hours of total FEF programming throughout their high school career. It takes a village to support student success, which is why partnerships like Food and Finance and Food Education Fund are essential. The school system can provide ample enrichment during the school day and the added benefit of immersive after-school programs tied into the class curriculum, provides a strong student support network and improves the likelihood of student success, especially as students consider how to navigate their post-secondary uh, decisions. Food Education Fund endorses Resolution 422 because we have seen firsthand how access to industry leaders and intentional programming in schools and after schools better prepare students for college and career readiness, amplifying their leadership potential and increasing their social and economic mobility. Thank you. Where, um, what kind of certification once the students has finished with the program? So in addition to the paid internship exposure, students also graduate with their food handler's license, uh, and this provides them access to entry-level positions across hospitality. Nice. Can you give us examples of some of their career paths? Where did some of your students end? For sure. So um, we actually celebrated the 15th year 
of FEF uh, most recently at our gala, and one of the students in attendance is Romeo Malpaca. Romeo was a first-generation college student at Food and Finance High School. Uh, he did an internship at Lilia and Missy, which is part of Grove House Hospitality, and at 21 years old, he is now the sous chef at Lilia, making $75,000 a year. Nice. There you go. So that's proof in the pudding that this proof works. Proof is in the pudding. That's right. Well, thank you so much for all that you do. Colleagues, any questions? We believe it as well. Thank you, thank you all. Thank you so much. And congratulations. Quiet, please. Quiet, please. Uh, rolling? Yes. Continuation roll call, Committee on Education, Reso 422, Council Member Hanif. Aye. Thank you. So, so that's not now. Okay. Final vote, resolution 422 has been adopted by the committee with 14 in the affirmative, zero in the negative, and no abstentions. Thank you. And we close it out.